Well, hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday afternoon. We're just out shopping, having a blast, man, after a great uh, great day and Christmas party. Amen. Anyway, this is Life Nuggets 49. I actually taped this twice yesterday, and one of them disappeared, and the other one was jumbled. So, anyway, this message must be for somebody. So, I've, I've had it several different names for it, but... <clears throat> Anyway, uh, one was an uh, elf, one, you know, one was, uh, uh, but today it's just unusual blessings. Amen. Say unusual blessing. You see in Matthew, in Luke 1 and 2 in Matthew, uh, Mary was pregnant. And Joseph, who was of the line of David, was going to just put her away quietly with a divorce. And, uh, you know, he didn't want to shame Mary. The little young lady that was pregnant and so he thought you know I'm gonna put her away quietly he went to sleep one night and an angel appeared to him and said you know don't do it what she has uh, has is conceived of the Holy Spirit you know this is from God and she's gonna have a, a son and you're gonna name him Jesus and he's gonna save his people from their sins you see, it was unusual. It was an unusual blessing. The same way with Hosea, way back when, when the Lord spoke to the prophet and told him to marry a prostitute. You see, we're, we're kind of trapped in this religious mindset. And, uh, we, we, you know, but God's ways are higher than our ways. And his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. You see, who would have thought that Jesus' first miracle was at a wedding and it, he turned water into wine and people drank it that were already drunk. You see, God works in unusual ways. Who would have thought Rahab, a prostitute, would be in the line of David and the line of Jesus in his genealogy? You see, God does unusual things to bring unusual blessings. For example, I used to carry my grandmother, who I called my singing grandmother, uh, to buy groceries uh, late in her life. And uh, my grandmother was the type, she was a, a singing grandma. And uh, you would call her up, she'd be singing, this is my story, this is my song. And she'd answer the phone and she would finish the line uh, before she'd say, yeah. So, you know, she was always singing. So we'd, I'd carry her to buy groceries to the Hansville, uh discount groceries. And if she saw anybody discouraged or depressed, or down and out, she would come up to him. She would just start singing. And right there in the grocery store, an unusual blessing would show up, the Holy Spirit, and the people would get encouraged. And we would leave those people smiling and praising God at the highly favor that God had given them right there in the grocery store. Can somebody say amen? Now, Friday night, me and Sherry went to Carabas. You know, this holiday season, you know, we got to go tell it on the mountain, Jesus is Lord, and spread Christmas cheer and sing real loud for all to hear. Amen. That's one of my favorite lines in Elf, the movie. So we're at Carabas, and it's about a 30 minute wait. Let me turn my heat down here. Amen, Mother and, <laughs> and Sherry's shopping, and I'm chilling in the car. So anyway, uh, we look over a 30 minute wait. It's already like 7:30. Sherry said, well, look, there's two uh, seats at the bar. So we go up to the bar. The girl said she was service. And I could tell this was a very nice young lady, I told Sherry. She said, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. So we ordered our food, and so we're eating right there at the bar. She's serving drinks, serving big glasses of wine at Carabas, you know, the great restaurant. And all of a sudden, the Lord speaks to me and says, tell her I love her. Tell her I'm proud of her and tell her I am so glad that she's my daughter. And so we had talked to her a little earlier and she had just graduated from Montevallo. So she came over and I said, hey, Kayla. I said, I wanna tell you something. The Lord loves you. He is so proud of you and he is so glad. I mean, so glad that you're his daughter. And she just stopped and looked at me and then smiled and said, Thank you. Right there holding a glass of wine, right there serving drinks, right there at the bar in an unusual place. 
God brought an unusual blessing. And 2,000 years ago, amen, through a little teenage girl named Mary, the power of the Holy Spirit overshadowed her. And the holy thing born in her was the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who came to save his people from their sins. And so there Joseph was, you know, to, 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 gonna fix, fixing to put her out. But he went on ahead and married her at the angel's word. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. And God works unusual ways with unusual things to bring forth unusual blessings. Amen. God can do anything. So he can do anything. I'm telling you, God is awesome. And so as we go through the holidays, be looking to spread some Christmas cheer and sing real loud. Live out loud for all to hear at the leading of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will show up in stores, restaurants, praise God, hallelujah. Go out and spread some cheers. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is Lord. A savior has been born, Christ the Lord. Amen. Have an awesome week. we got another week to Christmas. May you have a blessed week, a peaceful week, a restful week. May all things work together for good. May, amen. And I'll talk to you next time on Life Nuggets. I mean, you can reach me at daningram.org. Amen. You can hit me. You can contact me. Uh, get on my mailing list. Amen. I'll send out songs, uh, letters, nuggets. Amen. I'm trying to build my list. And uh, like Santa Claus, I'm going to check it twice, and I'll find out who's naughty and nice. <laughs> Be blessed. Love you. I'm out. See ya.